bowling. Roll a large ball along a shiny surface and knock over some pins. It's simple. You can even multitask. Nice. Oh, yeah. Gotta be happy with that. And you are. But Science of Stupid isn't about people like him. It's about people like her. And him. Look, a ten-pound ball of resin can do some damage. Your face is relatively brittle. So to improve your swing and reduce your chances of nasal surgery, here's the science. The higher the backswing, the more velocity the ball gains, thanks to gravity pulling it down. The pendulum-like swing means all that velocity is horizontal by the bottom of the swing. Release the ball here, and it has the maximum horizontal velocity and the flattest trajectory for a smoother landing. Steerike! So, to hit those pins, you need speed and timing. It's all about that pendulum-like swing. You don't have to be an expert. Just let gravity do the work. OK, not all the work. Remember, you do have to supply the backswing. Well, he's got that pendulum movement going, and here's the perfect time to let go. As opposed to there. Let go too late, and the velocity will be becoming vertical again, so the ball goes up in the air. OK, we can't all rely on blind luck. It's simple. Yeah, let's go. Superman. Don't let go too late. <laughs> yeah, hang on to that velocity and you will be a bit Superman. And the heavier the ball, the heavier the person it can shift. More mass equals more momentum. OK, look, master the basics, and then you can use your scientific knowledge to bend the rules. A late release from a master. Combine enough backswing with a slightly later release, and you have enough velocity to pull off a neat trick. But if you're not that good, just obey the science.